What's up, gamers? Barnes here. I want to show you some uh, new props uh, that myself and uh, one of my players and a friend of mine have been making. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to start off with is with this uh, 60 foot bridge here. You can see um, it's made out of uh, popsicle sticks and balsa wood and uh, dowels. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and then it's painted, and and then he uh, took some uh, sand, uh, woodland scenics turf, and gave it a little dusting. And uh, this is what we got. We got a 60-foot bridge um, that I, I'm planning on using in the Rise of the Rune Lords. Um, there's a 60-foot uh, bridge in uh, burnt offerings. Um, I think it's supposed to be a swinging bridge, but this will represent that just fine, I think. Um, and the characters can move freely on it, which is pretty cool. And so we can have battles on this little bridge here. Um, it's just over a foot long. It's got a couple supports over there so that you can make it truly 60 feet long over a gap. Um, I got it resting on uh, two of these display boards from uh, Lemax Spooky Town which I got at Michael's and they're basically just styrofoam painted with some moss on top of them but uh, he made this bridge and it's pretty cool and I plan on using it on uh, burnt offerings I'll try to give you a little bit more of a close up I guess Anyway, that's the bridge. Uh, the other thing we've been making is um, <clears throat> bushes and uh, turf panels and uh, a couple of little uh, <clears throat> stumps. And so I'll show you a couple of those, a uh, couple ones I made, I guess. Um, this one here, I think I made. Mm -hmm. And there's a bush. And this would be about a 15 foot by 15 foot bush in game, or three squares, four into fourth edition. Um, it's about three inches by three inches. And these are on uh, Woodsy's balsa wood cutouts, which I got at Michael's again. They come in various shapes, uh, circles, squares, teardrops, um, rectangles, ovals, football shapes. Um, and then I took Woodland Scenics uh, summer grass turf and I glued it <clears throat> onto the piece of wood and then I uh, colored in the siding of the wood in the, the paper <clears throat> and then I uh, glued down some uh, Woodland Scenics foliage um, and some uh, Spooky Town Lemix um, moss which I got the moss at Michael's um, and it's about three dollars a bag this is what the moss looks like no it's not what you think it is Brady but that's moss and uh, <clears throat> so uh, yeah I put some of that in it and uh, glued it all together and now we got some bushes and I'll show you some of the bushes there's a bush that Quill made. One of my players. Well, player characters, I guess. His name's Quill. I'm going to try to broadcast more games, so we'll see how that goes. And then I made uh, this little stump. I went outside and got some rocks and uh, made this little stump with a uh, old wine cork. And I took the exacto knife and carved it down and made it look like it was hacked at. And then I tried to put a mouse hole in there. And I'm going to try to show you the mouse hole at the bottom there. I don't know how well it's going to show up or not. But there's a little mouse hole down in there. <clears throat> and then uh, the last type of piece I did was a little turf piece, which I, uh, I'm going to use to put two characters on. I uh, say I have a, a character and a horse and I don't have a mounted guy for that character and I'll put them both on here 
or a guy on a mule or zebra. You never know what's going to come up in RPGs. But I do have other little animal pieces, so I can put little animal pieces on here uh, with the character and move them together. This is another little piece Quill made. This is another stump. It's pretty cool. I'm thinking maybe I might try to get a business in this. And I'll just start trying to sell on these. I have to spice them up a little bit, I guess. Um, another little bush. And this is another 15 by 15 foot bush. It's probably 15 feet high. In game. 3.5 Pathfinder. Uh, one of my buddies made this little rock cropping or some turf around it. I thought that was kind of cool. Putting his little artistic skills in. And then uh, my other player, Norton, still a uh, quill. He made this tower, this little siege tower. Maybe we'll spice that up a little bit more by the time this gets in use. But it's got, it's made out of balsa wood. It's painted, and then uh, it's got a little dusting on it, which is pretty cool. And then uh, he made a uh, little separate scene. Um, it's still uh, drying at a second, but I'll show it to you. Just hold on a second. A little bum scene I made in here to display all this. I uh, these are just woodland scenic pieces here. You can add those for different miniatures. You gotta mount them yourself, maybe paint them up to get them to what you need. I just hate how all the miniatures have a sword in their hand or you know a weapon in their hand. This is another piece of turf that Quill made. I don't know if it's really showing or if it's washing out. It's showing. Got it. There we go. And this is pretty cool. I could throw this right down on a bigger board and we can have a different section of turf there. Um, this is just made on foam core with some uh, turf and sand and rocks. A little bit of lemix moss there, you see. And the last thing I want to talk about in this video is uh, <clears throat> something I invented. I'm sure I'm not the first one to think of it, but it was new to me. Um, I would have had a, a problem on uh, basically moving characters and, and, and tracking uh, how far things away from each other on uh, not using a grid or a piece of graph paper. And uh, if you watched some of our last session, you can see that um, the players use. Uh, rulers and tape measures and string to determine um, you know line of sight and, and distance how far they can move and when they get in close I'm, I was worried about like um, what square would they were in exactly would come in as a factor eventually and uh, you know it's not really a problem if there's if it's not cramped if it's only like two on two or one on two um, but with more characters it gets becomes more of an issue and I wasn't sure if I wanted to graph out every piece of turf that I made, every uh, board that I made. And so I came up with this. And what this is, it's just balsa wood put together in a square graph grid. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and uh, they're one inch squares. And I can hold it over the characters and determine where they are either by lining them up with just the piece of balsa wood itself or looking at the shadow of the ground now I, I don't know if anybody's ever done this before but I don't know if I can make any money on this if no one ever has but I'm sure somebody has but if you think we can make money at this I only got for like 40 people that watch my show I mean even if we make two grand off this a piece we're doing all right um, yeah so let me know what you think about this thing uh, I'm hoping that it's going to come into use in my game to determine where characters are. So I don't have to actually put down a grid on the uh, turf. Anyway, thanks for watching, man. And I'll talk to you guys soon. If I can ever figure out how to turn this thing off. <laughs>